Um, hey, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create sprites of a person. Basically, um, I animate with sprites, with 8-bit sprites, and I'm going to show you how to do those today. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to a website called Sprites Inc. And right here. Click Mega Man Classic. Well, you don't have to use the classic sprites if you're doing, um, if you want higher quality sprites, that's fine. But you can use basically any one of these people for, um, for sprites. But the person I'm going to do is female. And unfortunately, there's only one actual person who can be used for any generic female sprite. Um, you can use, like, whatever sprite you want here, like this one, small. You know, like that one's got like a small ponytail. This one's got like big ponytail. But um, I'm today I'm just gonna copy this right here, and <clears throat> you're going to want to uh, make sure this is transparent selection right here. Um, the select button. You also have to have MS Paint out. Just just mentioning MS Paint in here. Um, and you just look at you, you paste it here. You make sure you have to make sure your background is black because if it's not, it'll automatically paste this blackness because Paint doesn't know how to do transparent. But now that we've got these sprites out, you can basically just uh, take any color you want and just edit them however you want. Um, and the person I'm the person I'm doing a sprite of uh, doesn't actually have a dress so I'm just gonna be getting rid of that um, I'm gonna replace with like a I'm just gonna replace it with a hoodie real quick um, so basically you can just do whatever you want with your sprite yeah, um, so you basically just put your sprite in MS Paint and then just edit it however you want and yeah, yeah and you can just do that however um, also the person I'm doing doesn't have short hair so I'm gonna it doesn't have long hair like that it's short hair so I'm gonna get rid of that also I don't really want her posture to look like that yeah, that's not really the way her posture looks a lot of the it's careful it's hard to make someone's sprite represent their personality with this low resolution but um, okay, anyway I'm just gonna you know, see so just basically do that and you're gonna want to um, you're gonna want to make sure that all these sprites have yeah you just make all these sprites and I'll check back with you in a minute I guess unless yeah okay I just wanted to let you know you don't have you, you don't have to use the style of art or animating that the original sprites use because <laughs> it's easier to um if you have your own style of animating, yeah, or well, not animate. Basically, you can make the sprite look however you want, uh, and I and it looks different. You know, it gives you your own sense of individuality rather than just uh, yeah, rather than just you know copying someone else's sprite and using it. Plus, it's harder for people to tell for you know copyright reasons. Because you, you got to be careful to make it look not to make it look too much like the original otherwise you might be attacked for copyright but if you make it look different enough then they can't really accuse you of that because there's yeah it's kind of hard to accuse someone of copyright with like this low resolution because since there is this low resolution you can uh it's pretty e <laughs> It's not as um, likely for someone else to just accidentally end up with the same, um, with the exact same sprite style as you. So they kind of, so people kind of can't accuse you of copyright unless they're, unless your spriting style is exactly the same as theirs. So give it your own, you know, give it your own little, um, I don't, I don't know. Make it special. Make it different than just the sprite that you copied it off of. You know, and that's what. In a way, if you do that, it kind of isn't copying, because it's different. So yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so now as you can see, I've finished the first sprite here. Um, unfortunately, I kind of understand if you don't want to do every single one of these sprites. And I can... Here's a way to make sure that you don't have to do exactly that. Um, is you can basically look at what makes this sprite different from the rest. Like, this one is different because it has its eyes closed. You can just paste over here. You can just... And you can just use the other sprite, but, um, you know, add that difference. Like, this one is blinking. And so I'm just going to use it to my, use my other one to make a blinking sprite instead of... Or, oops. Instead of changing that entire, um... Instead of changing the entire sprite over here to match it. Does that make sense? Okay. So... And you can just do that with all of these. Well, at least some of them. The running and jumping may be... I'm probably going to be a bit harder considering you can't just paste it and change it to look like jumping. But, you know, I guess I'll just... We'll worry about that later. Alright, so now that I've reached the, um... Now that I've reached the running sprite, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply the same changes here that I applied to the other one. For example, like, since the person I'm spriting isn't wearing a dress, I'll get rid of the dress and replace it with pants and a hoodie. And... Just gonna change stuff around a little bit. And the um, yeah, you don't have to do like a female sprite. You, I, actually, there's a whole lot more male sprites on the website. It's just the only reason I used this one, even though it looked almost nothing like the char character I'm spriting, is it's is because it's pretty much like one of the three generic female um sprites on that wiki and or not wiki on that site. So I kind of don't really have many options here. But if you are spriting a... And there's plenty of other games that you can get sprites from. You don't have to do it from this Mega Man game here. Also, um, something really neat, some, something really helpful that you should know um, if you're going to be doing this is don't waste time changing the heads. The heads of most sprites are easily copied over onto other sprites. Like that. Um, you may have to change it to fit the uh, yeah, so that it doesn't interfere with the sprite. But it's usually a lot easier to do that than it is to uh, than it is to keep changing the head over and over and over. So yeah, right, I'm just gonna be doing that with these next two. Yeah, with these next sprites here. So I think I'll just... What's it called? I think I'm just going to do a time lapse of me doing all these sprites if that's possible. Um, if that's possible in my video editing software that I have. Um, and I'll do that. <laughs>
so this part isn't yeah this part uh the character i'm doing doesn't really have a gun that comes out of their hand whenever they want uh, so i'm just going to replace these sprites with you know just a um just like a generic like like just cast like throwing their hand out like they're gonna cast a spell or something i don't know i'm just gonna have to basically what i'm saying is you don't have to um you don't have to change everything. You don't have to go with whatever the sprite has on it. You can. It's good to be creative and take like like this, just replacing like a gun with a hand, or the other way around, or whatever you want to do. Um. So, yeah, also another thing, these parts right here. Um, rather than take, yeah, rather than edit these, go to my way to edit these, and that's gonna be really difficult and take a while. Um, so instead, I'm just going to copy these, um, these sprites up here that I already have and put them down here. Then I'm just going to edit them to have their arm out, like, yeah. You just delete the arm there, and maybe copy this one, and put it down here, and then, yeah, you can just add that in there it's, it's a lot like easier and faster than uh yeah you know, than editing than going out of your way to edit these these ones right here so i'm just gonna remove all these I'm just gonna remove their arms and replace them with ones that are extended outward like she's throwing something at you yeah it's uh it's it's very good for time saving and stuff. Anyway, yeah, gonna be doing that. So then, after you finish that, I can I can just take. After I finish this, I can just take these and pull them out right up here, and just replace the others with them instead of there we go that worked I uh, also I think I'll do the same with the jump sprite oh it's okay just a little bit okay that should yeah so I'm just gonna do the same with the jumping sprite right here and uh, be right back <laughs> At this point, I'm pretty sure I've told you pretty much everything you might need to know about spriting. I could do the same with these, but I'm not really planning to use the ladder climbing sp sprites or the taking damage sprites right here. Or these charge shot sprites. So I don't really need to use the rest of those sprites, but I'm pretty sure you can. Um, I'm pretty sure I've taught you the basics, and you can do whatever else you want with that. And I'm gonna make another video showing one thing you can do with these sprites. Yeah. So I guess this is gonna be about the end of my video. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, good luck animating. Bye.